Hey, welcome. This is Vernetta. You can call me Vern, and this is Lifestyle Change Straight Talk to You. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a halfway decent day or night or whenever you're looking at this video. Um, I am a former bodybuilder, former personal trainer, and now lifestyle coach. Been doing this for, gosh, well, not doing it, but just been living it for the last 30 years of my life. I am currently a senior, yes, indeed, and it's hard to keep it together, but you just got to, you got to keep it pushing. And I realized the light bulb came on and I realized that, you know, it's been a disconnect. People are not getting the full picture. They put things in categories. They either want to talk to you about wellness or they either want to talk to you about um, your uh, uh, lifestyle or they just want to talk to you about training or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, everybody has their niche. But um, I think it's a it's a it's a complete circle. All of those play an integral part in your life and having a halfway decent lifestyle. Um, yes, these bodies are aging, getting you know achy, uh, sick, just a lot of stuff. No stress. I mean, a lot of stress. People are depressed. I mean, and and it's crazy because if you don't know how to do certain things to take care of yourself, then it, you're going to, like I said, start going downhill quicker. So today I'm going to talk about, um, give you an example of my day. Not that I'm perfect because I'm far from that. But like I said, I've been kind of, the things that I've learned during, from being, starting to, when I got into bodybuilding till now, I, I do some of the same things that I learned back then today. And they work for me and I'm just trying to pass it on and pay it, pay it forward. So today I'm going to focus a little bit about on about um getting tongue tied what I do as far as my eating is concerned. I am an ectomorph. I'm going to talk to you more about different body parts or body types, I'm sorry. Or you can do your own research. But that's the smaller frame, and I have a high metabolism. So most people are not built like me, and <laughs> most people probably cannot follow my schedule. But I'm going to give you an example of what I do during the course of my day. So when I wake up, as soon as I wake up, before I put my big toe on the floor, I have to have my spiritual moment. Or some people may do their meditation. Whatever, whatever you do, you have to work that into your day so that it's timed so that you won't be late. It's not like you can you work Monday through Friday. It's not like you can lay in bed. Well, you can if you have a 15-minute meditation session. You just got to wake up 15 minutes early to get it in. So um, after that, I'll squeeze my fingers and toes. Uh, to get the circulation going because yes again I am a senior and we have to do these types of things because these bodies hurt like hell as as we go on and if you're not you know if you're taking a bunch of medicine for it I'm not the one I'm not trying to do it and I'll say it every every session unless I have to unless it's an emergency I'm on the herbal tip I will deal with a herbal a herbalist or um, someone along that nature, you know, some profession along that nature, as long as I can. So, um, but you, that's another session. You, if you're on medicine, you cannot get off of your medicine. You need to talk to your pharmacist about what you can take with your medicine. And the point of, of, of bettering your lifestyle is to get you to take better care of yourself, eat healthier. So hopefully by the time you get to um, the doctor for your next checkup, they can say, oh, what you, what have you been doing? This is looking much better, or that's doing much better than it was the last time you came in here. So maybe they'll be able to reduce your dosage, or maybe they'll be able to say, hey, you don't even need to take this anymore. That's the goal of my all of my sessions is to try to get you to look at your life, see where you can make your changes for, for you, for a better health and a better you and a less stressful you. So here's an example of my, my eating style during the course of the day. So, of course, after I squeeze my fingers and toes and get my circulation going, um, and, and I'll just, I'll, 
people like some people like me have to do exercises before we get out of bed. When I first heard that, I was like, what? But once I've had to experience it, I was like, oh my God, now I know which, what they mean because this body will get stiff, it's achy, we deal with inflammation, we deal with um, sharp piercing pains, just all kinds of stuff. If, you, if you've been physical during your younger life, if you were into sports, you know, during your younger life, if you were in car accidents, had all types of accidents, had falls, all these types of things that will affect your body when you get older, then yes, you need to do some exercises before you get out of bed. And um, so one of my physical therapists years ago showed me a couple of exercises and she made sure my butt did it correctly. Uh, and I've been doing it to this day. I may find a few to shake it up, but I'll get my exercises in before I get out of the bed. And then as soon as I get in the bed, I'm get out of the bed, I get my water and I get my snack because I've been fasting the whole time that I've been asleep and I've got to change that, especially if you're diabetic. That is the worst thing you could not do is get some water and eat something. It doesn't have to be high calorie, but you need to break the fast. You, you know, if you're diabetic, you know. And um, so... I'm not a physician. Uh, you got to talk to your your doctor about all the bad things that you still continue to do being diabetic. And I'll speak to her because I, I know people who are diabetic and, I, and it runs my family. So I can I can say I know that a lot of people who are diabetic don't do what they're supposed to do. But anyway, that's another topic too. So back to me trying to get ready for the day. So I'm getting ready. You know, I'm in the bathroom getting ready for work and everything. Get my clothes on. on, on ready for work and then I'll come to the kitchen and prepare all of my snacks for the day. In my previous session I showed you guys about the lunch bag that I have and I keep it with me Monday through Friday and if I got a long day on the weekends it's with me on Saturdays and Sundays too. I learned that when I was in bodybuilding years and years and years ago. I said this is a great thing to do and to and keep it with me and I do so I don't play when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I'm in the in I'm in the kitchen fixing up my my snacks, <clears throat> excuse me, my lunch, more snacks, and you know I just I got have I have like three or four different sandwiches in my bag on top of snacks, and so <laughs> so when I get to work at seven o'clock, I eat my breakfast, and then I may have something like a turkey sausage sandwich or something. This is could be for some people who eat clean, I'm not one of those. I'll do the 80-20, so I'm doing a turkey sausage sandwich, trying to really wean myself off the pork because it's nothing but trouble. Um, two hours later, between 9 and 10, as a matter of fact, at 9, and it's amazing how your body will work like, when you train, once you trained your body to eat like this, it is amazing how it will almost on point, the stomach will growl and let you know it's time. But you can also put reminders in your calendars to remind you when you need to eat your next snack, when you need to eat your next meal, because if you're not trained properly, if you got visceral fat on your body, that means you're not doing something right as far as your eating is concerned and your sleep. And it's amazing how it's all connected. So seven o'clock, I had my breakfast, nine o'clock, my stomach is growling again. That's every two to three hours, you know, it's amazing. So I'm eating something because I'm not going to ignore my body cues. That's another problem with people. They ignore their cues that their body is telling them. And so the body was like, will say, okay, fine, then I'm just going to find another way since you're trying to starve me to try to maintain this body. So at 9, I'm eating my snack. At 10 o'clock, oh, I may have a PB&J sandwich because I have a high metabolism, so I need some protein. So I'll, I'll do that at 9. And then at 10 o'clock, I'll just eat some um, black bean chips or something like that and get some fiber, you know, some flax seeds or something like that in there. Then at 11, I'm eating my lunch. So I may have a chicken bowl. I'll, I'll, get, I'll go down to um, uh, Don Burritos and get me a chicken bowl. And uh, they got, uh, the, of course, the, I wish they had uh, whole grain rice, but they don't. So I have to do the other rice. I'll do the chicken. I'll do uh, uh, black olives. I'll do uh, spinach. I'll do carrots. Um, I'll do whatever I can throw in there, uh, corn. I mean, I just load it up with a side of guacamole. 
Because see, that's me. And I'm not going to eat this entire bowl. I have to get so much in this bowl that I can split it into another meal. So I'll eat that at 11. And then at 1, I'll, if I can, if I let me just say this. It's very important um, to go out and take a break and take a walk. And, I, and I'll tell you from experience that I can count on one hand the number of people that I see out at lunchtime taking a walk. Or even a jog. I mean, it's it's just mind boggling to me because we are just so sedentary, and it's like the how can I say it? I don't say dangerous thing, but it's just not it's 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 not good for your health to sit all day long. So um, that's another that's another topic. But anyway, so at one o'clock, I'll go take a, a ten minute walk if I'm able to get out. Well, I'll find a way to walk around the building somewhere if I can't get out, just to release some stress, especially if you have a high stress job. I'm going to take that break. And it's amazing how 10 minutes can make a difference. Then at two o'clock, I'm going to come back and I'll have another snack right before it's time for me to go. Because you never know. You can get into traffic, have a, uh, run into somebody who had an accident and now you're stuck. So after the two o'clock, you know, snack, I get home, do my exercise or whatever, whatever I'm going to do, have other things that I do after work. And then at five, between 5.30 and 6.30, I will eat dinner. Here's an example. I'll do, I mean, let me just lose, I'll use chicken. So I don't eat a lot of dark meat because it seems to have more fat in dark meat. So I eat chicken, white meat, breasts, wings, whatever. And I don't eat the skin. I eat skinless chicken. And season it to the point where I really like it. You know, that's another session we could talk about that. Um, so I'll have my chicken. I'll do some broccoli, fresh broccoli, or, you know, cook it however you want. Baked potato. And um, that's my dinner. Then at 8 o'clock, I'll turn around and have my snack. It could be anything. It'll be oatmeal, my dessert, I'll say. Oatmeal cookies. Uh, this is my 20% 20, 20 bad food. Uh, I'm gonna get my ice cream in, but I call myself trying to, uh, you know, my, not make it so bad. So I'll put some, um, I don't know, some, uh, uh, some peanuts or some uh, crushed almonds or something like that on it to, you know, have a little bit of healthy something there going on there. And then before I go to bed, I'll do one more snack because. <clears throat> uh, me personally, I'll just say this real quick. I had a really bad accident in the 90s, and they gave me a lot of medicine. That That's why I'm on this tip about herbal stuff. They gave me a lot of medicine, and one particular type was the painkiller called naproxen. That stuff screwed up my stomach, and so I, I, I cannot let acid just sit in my stomach and have nothing to do. So I make sure that I get a light snack before I go to, to bed. Now, I'm not average because, again, like I said, because I'm ectomorphic, I got high, me high metabolism, and um, then I got to deal with this, this gastritis stuff that I have. So that's how I eat during the course of the day. But for a normal person, I'll just say <laughs> average person, you should be eating breakfast because you have to break the fast, especially if you have medical conditions like diabetes. Talk to your doctor about it. Do some more research about it, but they'll tell you about it. That's the to me. That's just the. Oh, I can understand. Okay, if you if you wake up in the morning, and you are not hungry, then that's okay. But if you wake up in the morning and you're hungry and you're ignoring your your hunger cues, that's the worst thing that you can do. Because now, whenever you call yourself trying to eat, you're going to end up overeating. You're going to overeat because your your like I said, your your system is going to tell you right on schedule. Even if, even if I ate, uh, I'll give you an example, a bag of chips, like an hour before my next meal, when that next hour comes, it's going to, my stomach's going to growl, just like I never ate those <laughs> bag of chips and tell me that I'm hungry. So now I ate the bag of chips and I'm going to turn around and eat the other meal. So, I mean, it, it's just important to, to um, stay on schedule. I can't stress it enough. Uh, gosh, you, you have to break the fast sooner or later because food sustains your body 
Food nourishes your body. Food uh, helps you to not get sick in certain situations. I mean, it's just, it's not to make you feel good. It's not to comfort you. It's to, it's to do those things that I just mentioned. So, um, I mean, I, guys, I'm just saying, if you find yourself, it's just so many things that can make you overweight, uh, uh, stress, sleeping too long, waiting too long to eat, overeating, just all these things. So, so if you find yourself in that category, you got to do a lifestyle change or you're going to be giving half your money to the medical community or you may not live as long as you would like to. I don't know. We could just go on and on and on. You got to make a change. And and it, and I, I'll say it again. I'm always on this tip too. I am not one of those people that will promote that you're okay with a bunch of visceral fat on your stomach because you are not uh, okay. It's not okay because now you've affected all the organs in that area. Your, your pancreas, your intestines is there. Your liver is there. You've affected all of those areas because you don't take better care of your body. It's, it never ceases to amaze me, and I'm guilty of it too. It never ceases to amaze me how we just don't care enough about our bodies, and we trust other people to, uh, how can I say it, tell us what to do about it with our bodies, and we we don't we don't do the research that we should do. So that's me, just straight talk. Uh, there's no smooth talking here. You know, I'm just going. <laughs> it's going to be just straight to you and to me. If the shoe still fits for me, then the shoe still sh shoe still fits. If it fits for you right now, then it's for you too. And that's why I'm, I'm doing this. I'm trying to pay it forward. It's either for you or it's not. You're either ready to, to make this change or, or you're not. There's no gray area. It's either black or it's white. You're either, you, you're either mentally ready to, 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 to man up or you're not. Uh, that's just it. Um, you know, uh, being a personal trainer and a bodybuilder, you don't have room for, room for that kind of attitude. You're either going to get in there, hand, do what you got to do, handle your business, and then go on and get into your next day and do the same thing all over again. So that's it for this session. I hope to see you guys the next session. You got homework to do. Um, we don't want to hear no whining. We don't want to hear the, the, the thing that you don't have time to do it or I ain't going to do it if that's your attitude then you're just not ready and you're not ready to make the change and you'll just be the same old you that you've always been so uh, I'll talk to you guys next session hope you have, get, get your homework done and have a good rest of your day I'm out bye